our channel. Um, right now it's Tuesday around 7 o'clock and Mitch just got out of work so we're going to the boat because it blizzarded. Yeah, a lot of snow. We got like a foot of snow. Um, so we're gonna go check on the boat and see what damage has done. This past weekend was like absolutely freezing so we literally couldn't do anything on the boat because the cold would have affected it all. So we just got to the marina. It's very chilly. It's so cold and by a lot of snow this is what we're talking about. And it's still going so about six or seven weekends until we head off on our trip to the Bahamas. So move it along. No. Put your hand in here. <laughs> oh, the other one. Oh. <laughs> Look at how much the ice is. So what's happening here is that's like a bubbler right there. Whoa. And it just keeps it from icing over. <laughs> um, so we just got down to the boat and it's freezing in here and there's a shit ton of snow on the bow, which I can show you. I don't know how if you can see how much is up there, but it's probably like over a foot and it comes up over here. Mitch is trying to get some overboard and we're going to take turns shoveling because there's only one baby shovel <sighs> but yeah this is what we're dealing with right now uh, <laughs> I want to move so. Oh, not, not onto our neighbors, but I'd be asking why shovel this if you're watching. But basically underneath this pile of snow there's a bunch of those hoss pipes which have the uh, the chain for the anchors feed down into them. And once all this snow melts, it's just going to kind of like pour into our anchor locker and it'll just create more problems then. So it's easier to just shovel it out now. The dirt? Yeah, it's just dirt. It's just frozen. This drain is a little clogged. All the water. We're almost done, right. and we freaking opened our cooler, and we didn't realize that we left some ice cold beer in here. It's Bud Light. We already cracked one open, and Budweiser, and I think is like a seltzer or something but it's completely underneath the ice so i don't know good though snow is coming down so we're getting ready to leave soon and mitch is just finishing up guys welcome back um right now it's saturday and you last saw us like shoveling the boat yeah on. i don't was remember it? what day it was tuesday wednesday we're going to go to home depot get paint to paint on the anchor and get some projects rolling we're in home depot and we're looking at paint For those of you that roast us for using paintbrushes, boy, do we have something for you. Okay. I need a 
Alright, we're back in the car. We got a Home Depot haul. We got Rust Oleum Protective Enamel Oil Based Paint to paint the name on the an the name on the anchor, which we still haven't picked yet. So go check our TikTok. Um, then we got a roller for those of you who hate the fact that we use paint brushes. The bathroom, we actually could use a roller because it's a big space and then just a tray. On our way home from Home Depot, we stopped and got Girl Scout cookies. And yeah, there were some people selling them on the side of the road. We got Samoas and um, or Thin Mints. Yeah. I like Samoas. Mitch likes Thin Mints. Mint. Those, are, those ones are good. The peanut butter ones are good too. I we should have got variety. <laughs> Comment down below what your favorite Girl Scout cookie is. Panicked. Samoa is mine. Should we buy more? No, <laughs> no. I think boxes. four boxes is enough. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna read through some of the names that people suggested for the anchor. Um, we got, wait, let me pause this. We got. Some of our favorites have been... The most liked is The Beat, so we can say Drop The Beat. Yeah, and I hate that name, so that's not gonna be it. Yeah, that's it's that's horrible. not the name for us. I get where you're coming from, but... That's, that's just so, no. Um, another one was Awa Awa, and I don't, a lot of people on, I don't know, a lot of people on YouTube probably do know what this is, but there's this dog on YouTube, on or TikTok. on TikTok, that we can just insert a clip of what he is. He's so funny. <laughs> it's called Pudgy Woke, so. Pudge, let me get an ow, 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 ow. So, like, 600 people want us to name the anchor Awa Awa. It's kind of funny, but it's not like. not the worst name. Yeah. Because I feel like it doesn't even have to be related to Pudgy so much. It's like, Awa Awa. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. We like this one a lot, Kraken. Yeah. Um, and this one, like, is kind of an inside joke, I guess you could say, with our friends from home. It's like Kraken killers, so that's definitely in the running. So, Kraken's good. Um, I like this name, but Mitch doesn't like it. Remora, someone said Remora because that is the fish that hangs on sharks and orcas. So, just, so just as the fish hangs on to the shark, the anchor hangs on to the boat. That yeah. one's cool. I don't like it. He doesn't like it, but I think it's cool. I like the fish. I just don't like it as a name for an anchor. Um, They're very tiny fish. I'm trying to find other ones that we liked. Oh, Bruce. So in Jaws, Bruce. the boat was the orca and the shark was nicknamed Bruce. A little bit cliche. I mean, we can't do Bruce because there's an anchor already oh, yeah, named yeah, yeah. Bruce. Like the type of anchor. So it's like three things as a Bruce. So. Sand City. Somebody commented, and I don't know if this person is from where we're from, but here, Sand City has a big meaning. Um, it's a brewery on Long Island that's huge, and there's a couple of beaches that are referred to as Sand City near us. Um, but I think those are the best options, so I feel like it's probably going to end up being Kraken. I like Kraken, but Kraken. also, like, I like Stuck. Stuck is cute. Because it's like gives you something about what the anchor actually is yeah and we're just like thinking too because like when we drop anchor in the bahamas obviously the water is going to be so clear so it's like when we dive down to check it like we're going to see this name every time and it's going to be on film so it's like we it want it to be like a good name um so yeah let us know which name you think we're going to pick down below and right now i feel like it's probably leaning towards Kraken or I stuck. I don't know. It we might be, have to flip a coin. It could be none of them. Yeah. Maybe we'll just pick one from like that has zero likes <laughs> all the way at the bottom. Um, okay. Hi, it's us again on a new day. This vlog is kind of a mess because we've been bouncing from day to day to day. But um, the last time you saw us, it was Sunday. Mitch was working on the boat while I was at work and it was snowing out. And so. Since then, we haven't been to the boat because we've just been like working and dealing with weather stuff. Um, but we're on our way there now. It's currently Wednesday and um, we're gonna go paint the anchor finally. 
Tell us what's in the cart. Do you want to tell us what's in the cart? Um, the rug. Our new area rug that Brian's well, dad. More a mat, I guess. Yeah, that Brian's dad hand weaved, which is sick. And then some other random stuff. Like a pizza, a pizza yeah, flipper. <laughs> and a Brita. And a toolbox that's full of fishing lures. And then Mitch is holding um, an old map of where he grew up. All right, so this is what the boat's looking like. Not too bad, not too snowy. A little messy, but it's really starting to come together on the inside. Yeah, me and my parents cleaned the boat up. Yeah, so on Saturday when Julia had work, me and my parents were here and we threw out another, I think it was another five bags of garbage. Mm -hmm. So total, I think we've tossed out like 14 big garbage bags full of stuff because previous to this trip, we've just used the boat like on the weekends partying and stuff. And so it kind of just accumulated a, a lot of, of random unnecessary shit. random stuff. Little problem. I gotta look and see. I'm we like, don't know if we have any small brushes to paint the name on. Well, I definitely don't have any like art brushes. I should have brought one from home. I know. Right. I guess I can cut it, right? It's just not gonna look good. I feel like we should just come back and do it a different time. Like later today. One second. Let me, let me see what I can do with this. Well, let's just show. All we have is two inch chip brushes for like various projects, but we do have tin snips. And you guys saw about five seconds ago when I was using tin snips how amazing they are. Let's see if we can just cut through. <laughs> we'll turn this two inch brush into a half inch brush. <laughs> It might work well, it might not work, but come on, baby. Oh. That's, Julia, that's all you need, right? Yeah. Look at that. Now we have our little brush. It's gonna be still hard for me to, all right, so we got, so we kind of fudged that one. So. We didn't fudge we'll it. We'll just see you tomorrow <laughs> with a smaller paintbrush. So what name do you want to go with? What do you think? Kraken. I think so. I have the anchor right in front of me. So I'm just gonna take a pencil and kind of like sketch out. Kraken. Now what are you doing? 
Now I'm going to drop the anchor slowly over the side and then we'll pull it back up at the windlass. What? So cold. All right. All right, everyone. So that's it for this video. Congratulations and thank you to our anchor namer. Um, hope you guys like this video. Next video is going to be a lot more organized and we have a lot more content coming because we leave in like five weeks. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do. So. so make sure to subscribe, comment, like, go check out our TikTok and our Instagram and stay tuned. Bye guys. Thanks. Bye.